Hi guys and welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are just joining me now, please hit the subscribe button, it would mean so, so much. And also if you do enjoy this video, please hit the like button. And today's video is going to be 20 gift ideas for women slash girls. And then my next video is going to be 20 gift ideas for men slash boys. So I'm just going to jump right in. And if you do see me looking down, I am looking at my phone because I have a list of all the ideas. So the first gift idea I have is a wet brush. Now I own a wet brush and I absolutely love it. Like it's just so so nice like instead of it tugging on your hair like I feel like a normal brush does it just glides through and takes out all the knots and it just does it so nicely so that it's not really tugging on your hair and I think I do have a bit of a sensitive head so I really enjoy it and I just think it's so so good and they do have like loads of different types on the website for like different types of hair so I highly recommend a wet brush I feel like you wouldn't be disappointed if you got a wet brush the second gift idea is a pair of pyjamas, because I mean, who doesn't love pyjamas? When I open pyjamas on Christmas or on my birthday, or you know, if I, anyone gets me a pair of pyjamas, love it. I'm so, so happy. I just feel like when you've opened all your presents on Christmas, and like, if you don't want to get dressed and you're just like staying at home, go and have a shower and then you put your new pyjamas on all fresh, and I, I just love it. I just think it's such a good Christmas present idea. The third gift idea I have is makeup, and I just think... I love getting a new mascara, I love getting new eyeshadows to play around with, or a new lipstick shade. Sometimes I feel like I get stuck in my ways and always use like a certain shade of pink. And it's just nice when like someone buys you some new makeup because not only do you get some products that maybe you don't have, but you get to test out new lip shades that maybe necessarily you wouldn't have picked yourself. So yeah, I feel like makeup's a really good idea. Number four is some skincare. And I do think that maybe with skincare, if you were gonna buy someone some skincare, I would say go down the natural route of skincare. Ones that don't have too many fragrances in and um, chemicals, just because you don't know what that person's specific skin type is. So, I mean, you could have a conversation with them, like, if you wanted to get some ideas, like, are they more oily, are they more dry? But I do think that maybe go down the natural route would be better, just so that you're not causing them any issues. Um, and it's just a really nice present to get someone some natural things. Number five on my list is some Lush products. I love Lush products. I don't know who doesn't love Lush products. I mean, my boyfriend doesn't like going in the Lush shop just because it's really, really strong, but I love the smell of Lush. And if you just got some bath bombs or if you got some skincare, you could get skincare from there or um, some hand creams or anything like that. I just think Lush is a really good idea. Number six is some Victoria's Secret body spray slash perfumes. They have some, like, really nice sounding ones on there at the minute. I really kind of, like, hope that someone has got me some because it does sound really nice and I've had a moisturizer lotion from them before and I loved that it smelled so so nice and it I used it a lot on holiday because it just reminded me of like a holiday scent and it was just really really good so number seven I put bedding because I just love new sheets like new sheets new duvet getting into a nice fresh pair of sheets when you've just got out of the shower or I just love bedding I feel like bedding such a good thing to get someone and it's something that I don't think anyone would not a lot of people would think of getting your bed in. So yeah, I think bedding's a good idea. So number eight, I put a reusable cup or glass. And I think getting one of these for someone is really, really good because I just feel like we need to use less plastic in the world. And yes, if the cup is plastic, then that's like kind of defeating the object. But at least you're not throwing it away. You are reusing it. And it's not like just getting a Starbucks cup and then throwing it away. So I do think a reusable cup or a glass is really good. And you can have it, you could get one that's like a flask, so you could have it for hot drinks, or you could get one that's more suitable for cold drinks, or both. And I just think it's a really good present. You can get them personalised, so that's also really good to get the name on it. And I, I would love that if someone got me one of them. Number nine, I put some Lululemon leggings or some Gymshark leggings. I'm obsessed with my Lululemon leggings. They're so silky soft, especially the aligns. Like, I'm obsessed. I love them so much. And Gymshark, a, just a little bit more on the cheaper side than Lululemon, probably like half the price to be honest. So either either or, I think that would be a really good present for a woman slash girl. Now I just wanted to say before I move on to number 10 that these gifts can be given to a boy or a man. There are some obviously more catered towards girls but there are also things on this list that you could buy a boy and yeah each to their own, whatever you want to buy or whatever they like. I'm just this is just a list obviously that I've wrote for women but they can also be given as 
gifts for boys. And same goes for the next video where there's a list for men and boys, they can be used for girls as well. It's, it's either or, but I've just written it for the sake of the video, I've done a girls list and a boys list. So number 10 I have put hoodies or a sweatshirt, I love a new sweatshirt, I love a new hoodie. I feel like you can't go wrong, you can't have too many hoodies in my opinion, you can't have too many hoodies, you can't have too many sweatshirts. And especially around this time of year, it is freezing and I love a hoodie and I love a sweatshirt. I'm wearing one right now. This one's from Hollister. It's very, it's quite old to be honest, but just love sweatshirts, love hoodies. Number 11, I put a mini ring light for your phone. Now I have a big ring light and I don't have the mini one for my phone, but how good is that? Like a little ring light for your phone. I just feel like if you're doing selfies or like you're doing an Instagram post, I just feel like a, ring, a little mini one for your clip on one for your phone is such a good idea. Like I think that is such a good gift idea. Number 12, I put soy candles. Now, I don't own a soy candle, at least I don't think I do, I'll have to check all my candles, but I've heard that they're so much better for you and I just, I really fancy having a soy candle just so I can see if there's any difference. If there's a difference in smell or just if the air's clearer, I don't know, I don't really know how they work, but I've just heard that soy candles are supposed to be better for you and yeah, I just think a nice soy candle. 13, I put a mini fridge for your skincare. How nice is that? A little fridge for all your skincare products so that at night time or in the morning, when you put all your skincare products on, it's all cooling and refreshing and I just feel like for your eye creams and your moisturisers, I just think that'd be so, so nice, placing really cold eye cream under your eyes. And also in summer, you could put like your lipsticks in. You could like so when it's roasting hot in summer and you don't want your lipsticks to melt, you could put them in your little mini fridge. That'd be a good idea. Number 14, I put some good quality jewellery that won't tarnish. I think that's a really nice present to get someone is just some little jewellery, even if you got them like just some little dainty earrings that they won't cost too much. And as long as they're good, like I said, good quality and they won't tarnish, then I just think that's a really good present to have. Number 15, I put a little bit more of a pricey one, some Ugg slippers. If you can find some Ugg slippers in your size at the minute, I would say good luck. Because if you're small, like me, I'm a 3 in most shoes to a 4. And a lot of the ones that I wanted are sold out. So if you can get them, then it is a really good gift idea because who doesn't love a new pair of slippers? I know I love a new pair of slippers. They're comfy, some chunky ones. Number 16, I put a good quality phone case. Now, I would love a new phone case. Like, mine is quite a cheap one. To be fair, it has been pretty good to me and not damaged my phone. But you can get some really nice, good quality, shockproof phone cases. I mean, I've seen some that have been tested from like really, really high up and they've dropped on the floor and they've been absolutely fine. So I think a good quality phone case with gorgeous patterns on as well, like a really nice neony bright phone case. Number 17, I put a mini printer for your phone. Now, if you're buying a gift for someone who loves putting pictures on the walls, loves making like scrapbooks or just in general loves having like those little mini Polaroid pictures, this would be a really good gift idea for them because you can just all the photos on the phone, they can just print them off on this mini printer and I'd, I think they would absolutely love that. If you're buying for someone who loves pictures or photography or just having loads of little pictures around, then I think that would be a good idea to get them that. Or to go along with that, you could get them one of those, um, you know, them like, oh, what are they called? Like, it's like a picture frame, but it's got all like little clips on it, so you can put all your little Polaroids or all your mini pictures of this printer on there. You could get that as a gift to go along with it. I think they'd be good together. Number 18, I thought you could get them some personalised cookies. Now, my mum recently turned 60 on the 2nd of November, and she got some personalised cookies. And it was just such a lovely gift, like some of them had a name on, my sister got them for her and it was just it was just a lovely present. I just think anyone who gets a little box of cookies with their name on or something that they love, like personalised in a way like their favourite TV show, like Friends or just something like that, I just think that's a really, really nice present. Number 19, I put personalised shampoo and conditioner. I just think you can pick the colours, you can pick the scents, you can pick what, they want, you, what you want them to do to the hair. I just think it's a really good present to get personalised shampoo and conditioner and Functional Beauty do a really good personalised shampoo and conditioner. 
And last but not least, I put for number 20 a salt lamp. It gives off a really nice warm glow. I have one in my bedroom and I just think it gives a really nice earthy feel to my room. And yeah, I'm obsessed. So yeah, that's my 20 gift ideas for women slash girls. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time. Bye.